A big hello to all my wonderful comet cast friends, my dearest children. I hope every one of you is doing pretty great. So every single day we are getting more updates regarding comet K and one such update has come about the fee structure. Now the thing that I'm going to share with you, the information that I'm going to share with you is given in their counseling related document. So please have that in your head and let's get into it without further ado. So first thing is that the upper limit of annual tuition fees as agreed between the state government and the association of colleges was rupees 2,81,000 per annum or 2 lakh per annum whichever was opted by the respective institution. So my dear children when you talk about fees the fees is segregated into few parts okay first part is tuition fee I want to explain listen to me carefully okay and the other fees is also there. Apart from that, if the college has some skill lab fees, that will be there. And apart from that, there will be fees to the university. That is VTU, Vishweshwara Technological University. So these four things have to be covered. So I'm talking about the tuition fee, which is this. It can be 2,81,000 or it can be 2 lakh as well. It depends on the college. Okay, now going ahead, along with the tuition fee, each institution is entitled to collect other fees, the one that I was talking about here. Ex not exceeding rupees 20,000 per annum that is the maximum amount will be 20,000 rupees per annum per year which will be collected by Comet K. Now this will be collected by Comet K to the official site itself okay by Comet K. Fine. So basically this fees plus the other fees that is 20,000 I am taking the maximum let us take 2,81,000 plus 20,000 it will be around 3 lakh something right. Now going ahead apart from this the following will be collected at college level what are those things college is providing special skill lab facilities may collect rupees 10,000 or 15,000 and a maximum of 20,000 it depends it can be either this or this or this okay that is the skill lab fees out there. Now going ahead, applicable university fees that is this thing, okay. Now it is mandated that candidates are require, required to pay a single total fee to Comet K which includes both tuition fee and other fee. Basically while you are done with the counselling and things like that, during the counselling process you would be asked to pay this much amount that is this or this according to the college that you are getting into okay depends upon the college and when will that list come that list will is going to come soon as soon as it is there I will be letting you know that as well so stay subscribed. So tuition fee and this you have to pay my dear children please have that in your head this can be later done it can be done later okay fine so let us take so until here it was 3 lakh and then 3 lakh plus let us take skill lab fees to be the maximum it is 20,000 so 3 lakh 20,000 and now university fees it can vary I will show you certain examples so that you have a better idea about it first thing I will be talking about the total fee so that you get a better idea about it first thing RV ITM RV Institute of Technology and Management this was the fee for this particular institute the previous year okay. It had three courses and for three courses my dear children the tuition fee was 2,61,477. Now tuition fee, fee sorry fee plus the other fee that is 20,000 is equals to 2,81,477. This is the total fee. This is the tuition fee. This is the other fee. So total fee you have to pay to Comet K. Okay fine. I hope you understood this thing. Now if you go ahead let us see the skill lab fees and the university fees as well. Just a second. Yeah. So over here, if you see the total fee 2,81,477 plus the skill lab fees that they have put was 20,000 the maximum amount fine and apart from that if you talk about VTU that is the Vishweshwara Technological University payment the university payment they had three different categories. So first was 10,610 rupees this was for the students who studied in Karnataka then for students studied outside Karnataka they had to pay 12,110. Now for students who studied outside India altogether it was 22,110 my dear children you get it depending on the categories obviously your fee payment would be different. So again assuming that this is the maximum 22,000 is the maximum we stopped somewhere over here we stopped at 3,20,000 so 3,20,000 20, plus 22,000 is like 3,44,000 rupees that would be I am assuming the maximum amount of fees that you would have to pay okay. 
So I hope you understood the basic, uh, uh, what do you call the structure of the fee and everything. And I will recommend you one very important thing. Remember, you are paying a very huge amount. So whatever colleges that you are choosing, make sure it will give this to you in return once you are out of the college, that is through your placements and things like that. If at all your college is not worth this particular payment, make sure you are looking out for other options. Okay, that's a genuine feedback from me. Listen to me out carefully. So, oh, I hope my dear children, you were able to understand everything. And if at all, we get an update regarding the uh, full fee structure for all the colleges, uh, we will definitely update you. And for that, as I told you earlier, you have to stay subscribed to the channel. And also one very important thing, uh, depending on the college, it will be changing. The tuition fee would be changing. Remember that as well. Yeah. So please take care of yourselves. Do not worry about anything. Bye-bye. Take care.